These almost look so placid, etc. Sofa in Windsor. I wish I was on the sofa. Do you know their names? The names of the horse. This horse is called Omon. going to take one snoozy tourist to walk there but guys I will absolutely for the moment not get it why because everyone is obviously avoiding that horse like the plague I haven't actually seen anybody get bitten badly by that horse it was a horse previous to that one at the same end uh, that bit the small child on the leg this morning but most people are at this end <laughs> Yeah, the kid was, uh, it wasn't a bad bite, blood wasn't drawn, but yeah, the, the parents were pretty distressed, but it was their fault. You know, they placed their kid next to a horse's mouth. An idiot. That's the correct answer. Uh, and then they cry about the fact that the kid gets bitten. Yep, I'll be back uh, this week again, Sharon, don't worry. I stand, I really don't want to tell you this chap, but if you keep writing the same thing in the, in the, uh, in the live, I will get rid of you myself. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> Bye, Hassan. A kid with, uh, with red hair comes along. A little character of kid, the horse will bite him. Parents let them get too close, I'm not sympathetic. Terrible thing to say, I know, guys, but you know, as a parent myself, I would not put my kid right in front of the horse's mouth and hold them there when they're a small baby. It's completely ridiculous and irresponsible. But it's very common here, we've seen it many times. Plus, yeah, exactly, the disclaimer's on the wall. And if people make that mistake, it's on them. Okay, that's better. I finally got a spot where the light is decent, but not blinding. Apparently, also like bobble hats, especially if the bobble looks like an onion. <laughs> I still can't understand that some people are just dressed like it's summer when it's not summer. This is horse guards in London. Uh, 
<laughs> yeehaw. Yeehaw. To you as well. Watching from John Wayne country. I was dropped into the chat earlier, the name of this horse. I've already forgotten. To, to, to Massey Anchor, I think, is the name of this horse, I think. Uh, unless uh, certain blues are playing games with me, it actually means something else. Hey, welcome, Kring. Welcome. Or welcome back, I should say. Pichon, pichon, pichon. Pichon, pichon. Nita, ciao, ciao, ciao. Do we say? Yeah, clippy, clippy noise. Clippy, 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 clippy. Joseph, there's no rule here against touching the horse. You're allowed to touch the horse. It's like the horse is allowed to touch the tourist. It's a, it's a bilateral relationship. <laughs> See? She touched the horse, the horse touched her right back. The only problem with being here this time of the year, uh, so in the next few weeks when it gets really cold, is this is absolute germ, you know, germ heaven. People are so packed together here, and uh, few are already coughing and stuff. Few are already coughing and sneezing and stuff. Alas. I think the horse is using the bit to try and uh, tap out in Morse code what he wants to say. Can you get these? from me please thanks okay now I figured it out guys the horse is asking the toys to move back he's like how did you figure that out no it's not morse code it's horse code it's very very similar to morse code just a tiny tiny bit of difference Save my sanity. Here he goes again. Look. Chick, 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 chick. Is that out in the sun? It's cold. <laughs> in the sun, it's really hot. Oh, well, mom was born in two. Oh, wow! This is an interesting bit of uh, of info. Thank you. Wow, 15 years old. I wouldn't have guessed, in fact. Thanks, Ash, that's much appreciated. 15 years old. Ash, do you know this because you're um, blues? 16.3, yeah. I can't see close enough on your, uh, on your picture, Ash. I'm guessing you're blues. Yeah, okay, thank you very much for... For posting that here, yeah. amazing to know the, the uh, not just the names obviously of the horses that we don't know, but the ages. That's that's a wonderful thing. Sixteen three. Oh, oh wow! Actually inside. Ah oh, wait, I think I think Ash. I know. I, I think I will recognise you. Were you actually though, Ash? Were you um, were you at the front gate yesterday morning? When when um, when this place was closed, I think I know who you are. I, mean, I think I recognise you. 
You came out to tell some of the tourists that, uh... Ah, okay, yep, yeah, perfect. I know who you are now. Thanks, Ash. I appreciate you uh, joining the live and filling in the blanks for us. Yeah, I, I had to... <laughs> I didn't know if I should admit this, Ash, to be honest. But uh, yesterday's most popular video, by far, uh, was the one on YouTube with your face in it, uh, behind the bars. <laughs> Horse Guards is locked down video. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a crazy popular video yesterday. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's due to my amazing camera work or, or due to your uh, dashing good looks, but that, that was a very popular video. And it's much appreciated, yep, understandably. I would not have guessed Ormond is 15, wow, really interesting. Okay, this one's nipping a little bit as well now. We've already seen Ash make a couple of guest appearances today, guys. You, you need to be uh, you need to be focused. You would have already spotted Ash. He's been out here at least once today, if not twice. Uh, but <laughs> yes. Oh wait, I thought the arm was in its mouth, and it's not. <laughs> jick, 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 jick. I thought he, I was a bit worried for a minute he was going to mistake that woman for a, a human carrot. That was the problem. I mean, it looks like a bit of a carrot to me. Uh, Terry, you won't even remember it because I won't remember it. It's this horse's name is um, Tumasi Ankara, uh, or TA for short. Ah, hold on. Wait, Ash, is that the absolute classic, classic video of the the uh, quite heavy set Jewish comedian guy? That 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 is probably the most famous ever video. If that was you, then oh my goodness me! Wow, wow, you you are. You are you were crazy, crazy famous even before a certain female trooper scored Karen. Wow. So you've been in a while, actually. What have you been in a decade then in that case? If you were in that video eight years ago, flipping hell. That's probably the most famous single video ever of, uh, of a trooper. <laughs> 11 years. The only reason I'm surprised about that is you look young. You look really young. I would have guessed that you were 30 tops. 25 to 30. I guess that's the joys of having, uh, you know, Dan, for example, as uh, <laughs> as your boss. Keep, keeps you young, young at heart. Thank you, Nicole. Why is that horse doing that to people? Because he's hungry. Why else? Uh, the video cat woman with, um, with Ash in. The uh, Horse Guards' is closed video is on YouTube. It can't go on TikTok because it's... Uh, wait, hold on, I can't remember. It's on YouTube, it's on YouTube anyway. It's definitely, definitely, definitely on YouTube. I uploaded it yesterday. Um, it's got, I think, got like 40, 42,000 views since yesterday. Let me just check one second. Oh, oh he's really trying to nip out. Look. A bit spinner. Yeah, it's the second newest video on the channel. Yep. Yeah, you're right, Rina. That was starting to explain it. So, guys, yes, Ash is the star of yesterday's video. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone thinks all mom's a nippy one. This one is super nippy. <laughs> Nipping hell. Big, big softy, but not not a biter. Just just nippy and playful. That's cute. They certainly do. They certainly do, Serena. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Just very careful now. <laughs> that nice yellow bag. That's a give it to your friend. Hello, Inglaterra. <laughs> 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 Yikes. Best thing ever would be if when the toys got too close and the horse bit their phone and threw it on the floor. Hello, <laughs> me. 
<laughs> TA stands for uh, Tuumasi Ankara, folks. Um, that's the name, the full name of the horse. And yes, I can't believe I remembered it, but that is the horse's name, Tuumasi Ankara. Very distinctive name, to be fair. I mean, it's the most unusual name I've come across out of all the horses in, in either regiment. It is a mouthful, yeah. Hell of a mouthful. Oh gosh, wait, somebody's super close with their child on the other side. I hope they don't get really, really, really close. It just, it's its weird. I didn't think I'd remember it. I'll probably forget it tomorrow, but Tumasi Ankara has got stuck in my mind for some very curious reason. Indeed, yep. I often wonder that myself, Catwoman, to be fair. Um, there's a certain lady guard, uh, good morning to you if you're watching, you know who you are, um, who has a very, very, very stern look, okay? An amazingly stern look. But, 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 um, she must be laughing inside sometimes. Because the way that um, some of these girls behave, it's just utterly extraordinary. They know the nippy, very nippy oars. I said the horses go for that ponytail. We saw what happened last time. I just grabbed a ponytail. Uh, the guard or trooper uh, and their horse are here for one hour. The next change is in just over 15 minutes. Hey, good night to everyone living in my future. Time here, uh, quarter to one uh, on Sunday afternoon. Oh, Z. Wow. 100% Ash, one of the horses has got to be named Zorro. Come on, it's just, it's a horse is begging to be named Zorro. It's a perfect name for a king's horse. Thank you, Dan. What do you think, guys? Anyone want to see a horse named Zorro? Oh, Tony, is it really? Oh, there you go. Oh. God is screaming there, just on the... Uh, the gates were just screaming in someone's face. Tony, wait, Tony, here, here on the horse. Your, your boy's here on the horse in front of us. Real, real, real. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm glad I'm at this end this morning, Tony. Very glad. He's got a brilliant horse today. The horse is doing all the work. He's just sitting there, keeping a straight face while the horse nips everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's it's funny that you say that to me. A lot of people don't get that. Yeah, I look a lot of the troopers that I know personally. Families say that. I see them a lot more on the live than they do in real life. And I think that's what a lot of people don't get. You know, it is great to be able to be live here. One, because it's a lot of fun for me, but also a lot of you guys that, you know, get to see your, your relative, your, your kids or brothers or sisters working. He said a good morning, in fact. Definitely got a brilliant horse. Obviously, yeah, Zel Zelda's excellent there. Wait, guys, I missed the chat for a second because I was talking with Tony. Did, did we agree on Zorro or has Zorro been skipped for Zelda? Zephyr, Zorro, Zelda. 
Zoolander. There's another one. How about that? Zoolander. Or Zeus. There's another one, guys. Zeus. <laughs> My votes are for Zeus and Zorro. Yeah, Zorro is a good one, isn't it? <laughs> Zero or Zorro. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Z Zolingo. It sounds a bit too much like Duolingo. Yeah, Zorro and Zeus are good names, in fact, yeah. Zeus is kind of, if it's a big one, big 16 hands, 17 hands horse, that would work, wouldn't it? Forgetting his use of the Greek god. Zephyro. Well, hey, what about Zephyrelli after, uh, no, Cat Lady, we're, we're naming horses that begin with a letter Z. Vulcan is not, not a Z. If the next um, round is horses named with, uh, with the letter Z, or Z, uh, it's Zeus, Zorro, Zulander, Ze Zeffirelli. Z uh, zero. Uh, this horse here, this is a uh, gelding. Oh, well, I like his bag. The trouble is with this, he might get arrested. He's got a union union flag on that bag. And as we saw yesterday, the police are now arresting people that carry uh, flags of their own country. Is that or we could call Zayn Malik, there we are. We could name a horse after somebody from uh, One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> hey, somebody just had a, a meltdown right on camera. <laughs> what the? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> that really scared you, no? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a ghost jump, jumping in the camera. <laughs> what? Oh, he just just realised there's a sign there. <laughs> but there he is. There he's back. Like, oh, wait, have he's gone into logic complaint for compensation. <laughs> jump right in the camera. Oh man, that was so funny. Unbelievable. <laughs> he was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, let me get back, guys. Seriously. After the lady that fell in the uh, in the camera a couple of weeks ago, that that guy, almost Japanese guy, I think, he almost fell in the camera. <laughs> oh, wait, that, that's it. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, don't do it. We'll see. Don't you dare. I'm distracting the horse, guys. Yeah, zi zipper the nipper. Goodness me. The way that that guy screams when he ran into the camera. I can't wait to watch that later. That is going to be a brilliant moment. This is a, this is a, a typical cavalry horse beckoning call. The horse beckons the tourists, come over, come over. I'm friendly, I won't bite you. And then boom, bites them. <laughs> Peanut butter, I've actually paid for that service before. You shouldn't complain if you got it for free. Oh. Guys, the horse really bites. Be careful, be careful, be careful, yeah, be careful. Sorry, I had to tell them that little baby is way, way too close. Wow, that would have been uh, not a good thing to see. Adults want to get nipped, fine, but yeah, little, little baby like that, no way. Yeah, it's amazing. This is what happened this morning with the boy that got bitten at the other end. Uh, the dad walks over with the little boy 
and put the boy basically to the horse's mouth. It wasn't either these two horses, it was the one at Ormond's end. And that straight away, the horse nipped the little, boy, little baby boy on his leg. He was absolutely bawling his head off. He was all right, but yeah, I just better to, to, warn, uh, to warn some of the parents because they really don't understand the dangers. Yeah, you'd, you'd approach the horse and holding the natural instinct is to protect your child, which means you would hold the, the baby, especially a baby or any, you know, kid two, three, four, you would hold them away, you put yourself between potential danger and, and the horse, no? Yes. Very odd. Exactly, Peanut, but there's no difference, is it fundamental? Just because, you know, people think that, that you know, the crocs or alligators are more dangerous, they're not more dangerous, there's all the manner of the danger you put yourself, yourself in. This was trampled somebody, that's it, they're gone. Zigzag. <laughs> Especially if there are two that look like twins. Oh, oh. Hey Crystal, welcome. We're enjoying this very, very, very nippy horse here. Playful, but, but yeah, surprised that this horse ends up being uh, as popular as Ormond. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified, look. Uh oh, rains. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Here we go again. What's up next? <laughs> I did. The process was actually a lot of fun. Uh, I was with a couple of friends. It was a good day yesterday. No, not remotely close to being any danger yesterday. <laughs> oh, oh! Horse is going for his private parts. The the troopers uh, suggest names for the horses. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Ash, um, that you guys vote, guys and girls, you vote for the names that you like. Yeah, that guy almost uh, almost got himself a, a free... Wait, now I forgot which one it is. Free vasectomy. That, it, wait, is that... Wait, damn it, guys, is it the right word? Vasectomy, yeah, vasect, vasectomy, yeah, vasectomy. Ah, oh, right, okay, Riding Master makes the final decision, okay. Okay, yeah, exactly. Horses like, you want to you do it to me? I'm going to do it to, to the tourists. Good, good corner here, guys. The light is great on this corner. I'm really hoping they don't bring that baby up close because I'm on the wrong side and there's no way I'm jumping in front of the horse to warn them. Visual aid for a rain. The issue is not so much whether people can read or not read English. The issue is almost every single time people don't bother to read the sign. They get here, they're excited, it's, it's crowded, it's busy. There are so many distractions here. So most people come through the gate, they don't even see the sign. 
Uh, where in London does the lights go up? Uh, that's a very good question, really. I think typically um, either the end of this month or early next month. It depends where. The big big switch on is the Angels on Regent Street. Um, I haven't even looked actually, to be honest. Definitely happening in the next month, though. Hey, Paula, welcome. Yeah, I, th I think the big one, normally the Mayor of London or a celebrity uh, switch on the lights, I think that's typically the end of October. But it, it varies massively, sometimes it's early November. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll be higher. Uh, Lucia, this is horse guards in central London. Someone else just pushed into the back of a picture. Look. <laughs> ah. I will be in the Actually, no, I won't be inside. It's too busy. There's, there's no point. It's just too busy. Too many people. <laughs> Restart the ambulance. It's just you, I promise. Do all the guards know you? I have no idea. Maybe they do. I know some of them very well. Maybe some of them know me well. I mean, I hear a lot, so they probably recognise me. In fact, I was at the protest yesterday with uh, with a friend of mine in the Blues. I hope that you guys got back safely. Yeah. Look, see, the sign is there, but a lot of people don't bother to read it. Um, anyone that's getting lagging, we always get a bit of lag after a thousand. Just restart the app. Reception here for me is perfect. I'm not, I'm not seeing any lag on the chat. Everyone's being pushed behind the bollards now. That's a load of bollards, but there it is. It's really busy, people. Look at this. Shocker. Or did the horse eat a uh, tourist? Mm. Officers' patients running out behind the bollards. No, she's still not getting it. Hello. He said behind them or you will get squashed by the horse. Bingo. That's right, officer, you tell them. Behind the bollard or you will get squished by the horse. Oh, there's another one at the other end, look. Look. Okay. the horse. The horse stands for one hour. About five hours a day, less than I do. Aha! Here is a very popular trooper, ladies and gents, coming out the gate right now. Here he is. Police officers absolutely screaming at everybody to get behind the line. He's at these flipping toys, they just don't listen. <laughs> there he is, ladies. Yep. Police already wearing their um, neck scarves. I've got the same thing on today, actually. Okay, so goodbye to Ormond and uh, to Massey Ankara. Massive force. I think 
I will ask, but I think this whole this is Oxford this horse. So the horse that just left guys was TA. This horse is I'm pretty sure this horse is Oxford. 17 hands three. It's one of the one of the largest in fact of the blues horses. I was asleep by then, Lynn, literally. Oh, coffee from Colombia, the world's finest coffee. Horses swapped over every hour. I will try to confirm um, if Ash is back on live shortly, guys, uh, if I got the name of the horse right. I'm pretty sure this horse is Oxford, but I don't know the horse at the other end. It's a good question. The two horses that are here now look very similar. Okay, everyone's allowed to move now. Wait, let me go along here. If you look, guys, to the other horse, it's another massive horse. These two horses look as though they could be, I don't know, brother, sister, or whatever. But you can see, look, another horse, massive one here, 17.3 again. Looks very similar to the one behind me, except the one behind me has a star. Uh, you missed an unbelievable thing up there. Yeah? Yeah. Somebody got nipped, but he screamed like a girl and fell into the camera. <laughs> I'm based the lady, yeah. Japanese guy, he screamed really loudly. <laughs> ah. No, not this, not 18 hands. This horse is not 18, guys. Uh, 17 3, I would say. There's only one, I think there's only one 18 hands horse in the blues, and that horse is not here. Yeah, they look very similar, but this horse has got uh, no star, no blaze, uh, two white socks at the back, so pretty distinctive sock. Uh, pretty distinctive sock, pretty distinctive horse. <laughs> Look at this. Interest, look at this. Look. This is how busy. Guys, they've actually closed. Look at it. It is absolutely flipping chocker. I'm so glad I didn't go inside. Look how many people there are. It's absolutely brand. What on earth? Look at this. Utterly extraordinary how many people are here. This is one of the busiest Sundays I, I think I can recall. What on earth? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, oh, guys, woman just walked through. Oh, did you see that? Woman just walked through the box. People, please tell me we caught that. A lady just came through the box. The guard caught her. What? On, she just walked through the box. Did you see it, everyone? <laughs> oh, hold on, wait. No, there can't be anyone else that's that stupid. Did you, did you see it? I missed almost. Did you see the woman that came through the box? <laughs> I can't, yes. I can't believe she just walked through the box. No one was a horse this big, and she walked like you stupid. Like what on earth? No one was. Only you. But there were three of us standing here. No, but the best thing was that ja that Japanese guy earlier when he screamed when he fell over almost. That was so funny. I didn't get there. Right? You think I would look through this man? He literally fell into the phone. I know that's the funny thing. Unbelievable. I can't believe somebody walked behind that horse. Really extraordinary. Wow. I think, I think more people are going to come through there. Look, it's so busy at the gate. They're, they're thinking, I think, about walking through the, the box to get out. Look how busy it is in the yard, everybody. Look. Maybe there's a farmer's market or something here today. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely packed. Okay, it's good, good that they've closed the box. Stop this stupid tourist walking through it. No, but she just strolled through it like it was nothing.
goodness me. You just, just got her eyes and she looked guilty. Oh my goodness me. Wow, look at this. <laughs> a little bit too popular, I think, guys, this place. We need to stop filming here, otherwise everyone's going to keep coming here. Let me just look at it. He's <laughs> <laughs> a real 100% bona fide swarm, everyone. <laughs> everyone else, we just look at each other. People recording, just like, what the hell? Where have all these people come from? <laughs> Everybody's sort of looking around. Kind of, hold on, <laughs> where, where do we go next? Hey, it's a beautiful sunny day in London, you know? To give an example, look, look, look at how bright it is. Look at the buildings opposite. Look at this. It's an absolutely flawless day. The light is, is, is spot on. Glorious day here. And that, people, is why everybody's outside. <laughs> Wait. Let's go inside for a second. Wow. Whew. Okay. The only place to breathe is here inside the gate, <laughs> temporarily. Now, hopefully, no one's going to be seen enough to walk inside the arch, but you know what? You never know. Okay, I've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of space now. Oh, he's a very big group. Okay. This is why it looked packed from the uh, from the front. I mean, it is very busy. Oh, <laughs> God! They came out of the arches. Works in the shop. I still can't believe that we actually caught. It's super rare to catch somebody walking through the box when there's a horse and rider in the box. I've only seen that myself. I think three times in almost a year. So the fact that we just caught that on the live. Extraordinary, really extraordinary, uh, and nobody else saw that. A unique movement there, guys. Just when we think it can't get any crazier, uh, it does. Andrew. <laughs> Hi. Andrew decided to leave us with his pea sized brain. Hey, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. Sorry, toys are trying to post the pictures. Thank you, guys. Okay, they seem pretty happy. Right. Get back in the sunshine. Um, I know I said at the beginning, folks, that I need to leave at two. I will. Let me see. I think what I'll do actually, I've got quite a lot to do today. I, I'll see if I can stay as late as three. I can't promise. Let's see how we go. Because it would be such a shame to miss the, the two horses that we just had because they're back at three. Uh, but I definitely cannot be here as late as the end of day today. I've got quite a long uh, trip when I finish here. Beautiful light. Look at this. Look at the way the light's hitting the horse's uh, coat, guys. They're shimmering, isn't it? That's the word I was looking for. Absolutely shimmering. Oh, Tala, Tala. Oh, wow, these names. Flippy Ash, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, to message you after to add these names to my list. I'm not going to remember them. There's so many. Tala and Shackleton. Shackleton, that's an amazing name for a horse. Tala and Shackleton. Tala, it's almost like da da. Tala, da da. Oh, wow, loving this uh, lady's outfit. Look, it's almost a Blues and Rules tribute outfit she's wearing. Tala and Shackleton. Shackleton, that is a name and a half, isn't it? This one, Shackleton, is obviously um, a gilding. I'm, I, I'm guessing the other one is as well because they look identical. I'm pretty sure they're both gildings. Uh, Adrian, it's been a, a busy week, chap. The YouTube went absolutely bonkers. Anyone else arguing, folks, about anything, I will mute you myself. Yeah, guys, stop, yeah? No arguing about anything. We're not here to argue. Shackles is the horse, not the child earlier. <laughs> Shackleton. 
Yeah, that is a glorious name for a horse. Shackleton plus Happy Taurus and Snow Boots. Kind of appropriate, in fact. Yeah, sh Shack. Wait, sh is it Shackleton or Shackleton O'Neill? Which is it? Sh it could be Shack O'Neill. Oops. Uh oh. Let's hope this, this, hope that this horse is not a nipper. Talar is a super name. What does that mean, in fact, guys? Does anyone know? Is, is there a, a, actually mean, a meaning of the word Talar, or is it just a, is it a made-up word? Is that actually a word in the dictionary, or is it made up? I've never heard that word before. Roses are rosy. Hey, I, I personally, I can't stand British accents. Yeah. I mean, luckily, guys, um, not a lot of you know this, but um, I'm actually not British. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually born, folks. Uh, oh. I was actually born in Papua New Guinea. Uh, I'm a Papua New Guinean albino that passes for British. Yeah, British people are super annoying. We will definitely have uh, a phenomenal day. Thank you for the kind words. Shackleton and Tala. Or well, Tala, as I'm going to remember him. Actually, we're thinking about it. Now I'm not sure. Wait. Did we confirm? Ash, are, are they both um, are they both geldings, or is one a gelding and one's a mare? Because this one kind of actually looks mareish to me. Now you're going to say it's a gelding. Sarah, uh, wrong channel, sweetheart. Don't go on about Palestine in my channel, or I will block you. They are okay, perfect. So two two geldings, super. Early. I'm surprised if these uh, two horses have got the same parents. They look so similar. Shackleton. <laughs> Come on, Taurus, roll up. How long till they switch back to the horses? Forty five minutes. Wait, you actually think the British accent is hard to understand? I'm surprised. Most people will say that it's uh, it's pretty clear. I mean, I know that my voice is terrible. Everyone hates my voice. But I can try it and speak more clearly, if you'd like. <laughs> Youngman. Wow, that's an amazing name for a horse as well. Yes, me too. I've, I've got a, a real... Uh, your passion for this, the way the light falls here sometimes, not only in the arch, but also in the horse's coats. Ash, I think, uh, and I, I'm sure a lot of viewers would love to see Titan here one day. Is it true that Titan's been banned from uh, from being on duty here? Titan, guys, is the biggest horse in the blues and uh, is over 18 hands. Like hey, yes. I believe, again, this is why I'd uh, prefer somebody confirms in the blues. I believe there was an issue that somebody either was bitten or kicked uh, by Titan, and that is an enormous, like, enormous horse. Okay? The largest blues horse. The lifeguards have a, another, another horse called Overlord. But I can't remember whether that story is about Overlord or Titan. That's why I, why I was asking. But I've never seen, I personally have never seen the 18 hands horses here. And they really are just colossally large. So if you think these horses are big people, 18 hands ones are just like a whole new level of ridiculously large. Does that have a skyscraper? Yes, it does, many. Shard, for example. 
But is it true? Is there is there any po active policy that says um, there is a limit to the size of the horse that can be on duty here? For example, if the Blues had a couple of new horses that were both 18, 18, 3, would they be allowed to be on duty here? Have we ever had an 18 hands plus horse on duty at horse guards, what I'm wondering, from either regiment? Because I've never seen one. Quite the outfit. It's a day for outfits. I have no idea how she's not cold though. Really, it's flipping freezing. I've got three layers on, she's not cold. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It is really. I mean, guys, I'm not joking. Look, I've got gloves on. Look, fingerless mitts. Okay. It really is cold today. I'm shocked that anyone has got um, any part of their lower body showing, to be fair. Really, really, really chilly. Hey Scott, welcome, welcome. So that question about am I here every day, I'm not here every day, no. Uh, I've been here in the past seven days, a total of, this is the fourth time I've been here in the last seven days. Temp, I'm not sure, but it's, it's floating around 10 degrees. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit on the uh, on the chilly side, folks. I always forget the name of it. Guys, what's the thing that you wear around your neck? Not a scarf, what's the other thing? That circular, like a circular scarf that you put over your head and you wear it around your neck when it's cold. I always forget the name of it. What's it called, folks? No, it's not a snood. No, there's another word for it in, in this country. What is it called? No, there's another word for it. I just ordered another one of them yesterday. Wait, hold on one second. No, nope, it's definitely not a snood. One second, it's not a muffler. Wait, let me just have a look. One second, let me look at my Amazon order history. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it looks, it looks to be smart. Look, gloves. Yeah, I know. Here is this end is very cool. Okay, so the thing I'm talking about is called a. Wait, where is it? Gator. G A I T E R, a neck gator. That's the word. Uh, yeah, it's a gator. So I'm wearing a gator as well today. I ordered another one for to, uh, tomorrow when it gets colder, like a woolen one.